Okay, so this is a uh, Mickey uh, low profile G tube, and um, it's kind of different compared to a lot of the other G tubes out. Just wanted to, uh, you know, post a quick video on this just to make sure that everybody sees it. Uh, I like it. It's kind of kind of like a no mess uh, G tube, and it's starting to become more popular. The first time I saw one is in North Carolina, and I've seen them. Uh, a lot more recently here in California. So here's what it looks like when you open it. There's you know directions and uh, package contents. I've already actually opened this, uh, so I'm just going to pull out the tray and pull this back here. And it comes with its own uh, four by four guys. Got a, a 35 mL syringe, cap tip syringe that we'll use. That's for uh, any fluid, uh, you know, that you're going to feed through it. And it's also got a uh, 5, 6 ml uh, syringe for the balloon. And here's the button itself. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's got a little, uh, this, this white hub here is for the balloon. It unplugs like this. And it's a one-way valve, so until they wear out, they're not going to leak through there. Uh, really, the balloon is going to inflate right here. So that's kind of nice. And then there's also some extensions uh, included in here. I'm going to pull these out. This one's kind of got a, uh, a dual port. This will hook up to the, to the button itself. It's got a large one for the cap tip, which can be plugged. Uh, I don't know why you'd ever leave it in unless you're doing a uh, overnight feeding, which sometimes you can. Uh, but for bolus feed, that stays open. This one stays closed. And I guess you can also hook up a, you know, like a little uh, medication, you know, whatever else you're given besides the feeding. You can pause the pump uh, where the main line's going in here and just kind of inject something on the side here. Um, you know, and obviously it's got a clamp right there and then this it's really hard to do with one hand but this will go in to line up with the vertical black line here it's got a vertical black line here that will get lined up I'm not obviously going to do it with one hand but once it once it gets lined up it will allow you to push it in and then you can either twist the, the Mickey tube or, or the uh, extension to it and the, this has a thicker extension for uh, you know a little larger diameter, uh, faster feeding. So I'm just gonna pull this out right now. Uh, let's get this out too. I'm gonna put a little bit of water into the kit here, just to drop for my syringe for the balloon, which is right here. I'm just gonna get about five cc's in there and I want to test my balloon before I do anything uh, you definitely want to test the balloon because every once in a while there's some manufacturer uh, defects so you just want to put in the five cc's obviously the um, you know you would put this put this in get a little bit of lubricating jelly around the uh, point right here where it's going to be inserted right there and then just slide it in inject the saline and you disconnect the syringe simple as that and it stays in very nice we like it uh, if you ever see one hospitals usually don't uh, you know carry in every department at least the um, extensions for them they've got this special special attachment here uh, with with the vertical black line for the locking mechanism uh, so you know you're gonna have to either ask for the kit that it came with usually you're you're injecting gastro in it if you're going to be uh, checking for proper placement um, or the patient might have to bring one from home anyways hope you've uh, found this informational thanks for watching